Okay, I just want to post a little video um, today, kind of an update. Things that are going on here, or what I've been up to. Um, so I haven't posted a video in a while. I've got some in the works here. I just haven't, just haven't got the editing done. Um, I have been super busy coaching seventh and eighth grade girls basketball. I have one practice in the morning, one at night. Um, trying to keep my other daughter happy and satisfied, and get some forging done. Show you a couple things I picked up here recently. Um, but this is what I've been up to. I've got a bar of this is cable Damascus that I've been been forging working on. Let me I don't know if you can see that very well, but see a little bit of the pattern. I'm going to send this out as part of a collaboration with a friend of mine. You're going to have to grind some of these, you know, grind a flat a little bit more. Um, I figure he can do that. Saved me a couple of oh, decades worth of work. Anyway, um, let's see here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, so what this is, is if we look closely here, so this is a piece of wrought iron in the middle. Right here is this is wrought iron. And on each side are Damascus that I've taken and forged, I don't know, 30 some layers, 40 layers. It should be pretty, I don't know, medium low count. And then I've twisted them. I forge welded them onto the wrought iron and then on the outsides here and here I've got um, spring steel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish forging a kind of rough ground just and see you know where I'm at and things anyway I'm gonna forge those out and this this will actually be the cutting edge right here this edge uh, cut that you know force that edge up and so I'm just making sure some of these some of these forges uh, the welds are taking and what I need to do on that so I've been working on that too, and this is an old wrought iron horseshoe that I found that's in the middle. So I thought, hey, you know, why not try it, right? Draw that out, make a little bit longer knife. Now, if you remember, the spring, coil spring that I was pounding out earlier, this is what I've made out of it. Uh, I don't know if you can see there. It's got, it's ready for file work. I need to file in the shoulders here. File in, you can see they're kind of uneven, so I'm going to file those in. Uh, file in this butt cap here, put a handle, put two slabs, a slab here and a slab here on this, and then make, you know, this bowie. Um, this is probably, I don't know, eight inches long. I think that's about how long my hand is. Anyway, eight inches long here, eight, nine inches, and uh, integral guard or and a little butt cap there. Trying to do something funky here, so if you get like fighting people and <clears throat> hit them in there, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't really knife fight that often. I mean, you know, once a week or so. But other than that, so it's a hammer that I made a while ago, and I thought, you know, I better put some dragons on there. So what I did, went ahead and painted it, um, put a stencil of a dragon on there, and then. Um, pull off the paint and kind of ground a little bit deeper and then what I'm going to do is take a um, Battery charger and actually acid etch this in deeper and make that dark and then you know once I um, Grind off or polish off the paint then the hammer will be shiny and then I'll have two Darker dragons on each side on this hammer that I made put the handle on made the handle threw it on there um, Anyway good old times. Hopefully I'll be able to take that forged in fire if I ever get chosen. You know, who knows? Okay, last but not least, got a little canister here. Well, not last. Jeez, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, forged up the canister. I'm going to cut these wings off. I got wings on it for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I do most things. Anyway, and then I've got some chainsaw chain here. That I'm going to cut up into lengths, fit down in there. And then what I did is I took some time, and this was a real pain in the derriere, okay? So, man, I'm just going to have to buy my patterned steel here in the future. Um, oh, great, my chickens are out. Who cares? Anyway, um, what I did is I went in my grinder, and I got the grinding dust out of the grinder. Now, there's a little bit of stuff still in there. Not much, really. So what I did, I'll uh, Big Dog Forge. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. He does a canister Damascus out of this stuff, too. And, uh, and what he 
Like, you know, I need preparation H under the eyeball here. Getting old. Anyway, um, so I'm going to um, take the, <laughs> what I did is I put it on a piece of paper, got a really strong magnet, put another piece of paper on it, and just ran that magnet over the top about an inch away. And as this stuff jumped up, it left most of the other crap and grinding belt debris and that stuff on the on the paper underneath and then I'd just pull the paper pull the magnet away from the paper and it drop into the bucket here and I did that oh I don't know five or six times it took me probably 45 minutes to do that and I am not super patient I need to work on that but anyway I could have done it you know a couple dozen hundred more times and, and gotten it more fine but I, th I think this will be fine and uh, so I'm going to forge weld that in and then see kind of where that goes now here not too long ago i made a knife sorry to keep stepping out of frame i keep finding stuff that i want to talk about but this right here is you can see that on the edge here this is part of that no tomahogany ish stuff that i made um, where i did a bloomery just right right here in the yard set up a bit fairly large for me bloom and uh I don't know what it's called not a bloom furnace something like that anyway and i kept adding charcoal and then and then bits of horseshoes and and nails old nails just mild steel and as it went down it picked up carbon and became this and you know it was a bigger bloom and i just posted on my instagram feed a uh a knife that I made out of that and I probably should have folded it one time more two times more so I'll know now but I am structurally fine it was a great knife and then I've got then I've got this here this used to be about this thick I forged it down folded it a couple times reforged it folded it a couple times and uh, I'm gonna keep going with that anyway I've been working on that for a while I get distracted I work on things and I get distracted all right, let's see here. Oh, last but not least. All right, here we go. Last but not least. Um, I went out, talked to a farmer, and got these. Now, these are old plowshares or spring harrows. Um, anyway, now these things here, if you look at the, if you look at the harrows right here, you can see this part in here. This is perfect knife steel, sword steel. Now I'm going to make some racks and things out of this. Uh, I've got some nice uh, three-quarter to probably seven-eighths round stock, or I mean square stock here. Start building some tongs. You got some other stuff over here, uh, old saw blade, things like that. And this guy's got just so much stuff. It is absolutely amazing. I can probably, you know, he's got a couple of these these harrow teeth right here and uh anyway this is where the phrase you know hammering your your swords into plowshares you know this is kind of this is kind of what that is i mean this is already that shape and so i'm going to make some knives and things out of that out of that uh, i've got some wrought iron got some pieces of this is all wrought iron i've got a wrought iron chain around here um, this old saw blade anyway got some ooh, that was close anyway got some pretty cool stuff going on just need a little bit more time to get it all done and uh now my next project after i finish these and after i finish uh i do need to do a canister damascus weld i feel like i need to practice that i don't want to be practicing it somewhere that you know for the first time when it when it really matters and so anyway i'm gonna do that first but after that i'm gonna i think i'm gonna forge a viking axe maybe a couple different styles i mean why not it's kind of cool right and if i can uh do that i might uh what i might end up doing no not what i might what i will end up doing is giving a doing a, a knife giveaway for that coil spring now I don't have enough customers actually well no, that's not true i don't have enough viewers on youtube yet to really you know make it matter a knife giveaway because uh you know there's like four of them that actually watch the videos but you know that's all right too anyway um that's coming up in the future and that's about it
Anyway, pretty busy. Having a good time. Thank you. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Please hit like a billion times. Go back and hit like on all the videos. It's very cool. Thank you.